Hello, everyone. I'm Shuo. Welcome back to Shuo Shuo Chinese. Shuo Shuo Chinese. Today, let's talk about a pain in the ass. R. In today's video, I will list out all the four uses or structures of R and give you some examples. But do you remember this video, in which I said understanding the feeling of a word in Chinese? Is much more helpful for long-term learning than simply trying to find an English translation, and many people agree with that. Therefore, at the beginning of this video, I will summarize the feeling of R, which applies to all the following structures you are gonna see in this video, and I want you to feel this word with me. Only by doing this will you truly understand the word. And build an intuition of the Chinese language eventually. So, without further ado, let's get started. First of all, I will show you two sentence structures that you've already known: 因为，所以 and 虽然，但是因为，所以 because of the reason, so the result. For example, 因为我学了三年中文。所以我会说中文 By the way, I just got my driving license, so there are lots of traffic regulations in my head. As a result, I want to draw you an analogy between the Chinese grammar logic and the traffic roads. The logic of 因为所以 is like you are driving, and there are two roads, but they get connected to each other. So the car can keep going on the same direction. The second road turns zero degree. 虽然，但是 even though the fact, but an unexpected result. 虽然我学了三年中文，但是我还不会说中文 It's like you take a U turn. And go into a completely different direction from where you were expected to go. The second road turns 180 degrees. Okay, I think it is still easy for you to understand so far. Now let's take a look at the feeling or the inner logic of R. R is like you are driving on the main road, and you see a second road. So you take a maybe thirty degree turn and get to the second road, not zero degree nor one hundred eighty degree. I know it's a bit abstract, but don't worry. Let me elaborate it with the four structures of R. Number one, sentence A, comma, R plus a negative word. Sentence B, for example. 他让学生们自己思考，而不是告诉他们思考什么。他选择了原谅他的老婆，而没有责怪他。In this case， 而不是，而没有 ，etc. can be translated as instead or rather than. Do you still remember the super highway metaphor? If she follows the main road, which is what people usually do, she would tell students what to think. But she takes the second road. She made students think for themselves. If he followed the main road, he would do what he was expected to do: to blame his wife. But instead, he chose the second road. 原谅他的老婆 Number two, word slash phrase A, R word slash phrase B. Beijing is a old and modern city. This kind of music is soft and gentle. Here we can translate R as and or but. What? I know, I know. It is confusing. That's why to understand it in a Chinese way is much better. Now let's think about the superhighway. Beijing is a old 
而摩登的城市。And here you reach your destination or your conclusion, but both two parts or two roads through which you arrived at destination contributes to the conclusion. Likewise, what is this kind of music? 温柔，缓慢。A combination of these two parts. Number three, sentence A, comma, or sentence B. 很多人都喜欢可爱的动物，而我喜欢像蜘蛛、蛇这样的很酷的动物。大家都在认真听讲，而麦克在睡觉。I don't even want to give you an English translation. Let's directly go to the super highway. A lot of people are driving on the main road. I'm not following them, nor go against them. Instead, I take a slight turn and go on to the second road. I'm just different from them. And I think the second example makes sense to you as well. Number four, 因为哒哒哒，而我因为工作而认识了他。人因为爱而伟大。The translation of 因为哒哒哒而哒哒哒 may be because of. I met him because of work. Human beings are mighty because of love. Let's feel the difference between this structure and the direct. 因为哒哒哒，所以。Hmm. If you cannot exactly feel it, do you still remember the example at the beginning of this video? 因为我学了三年中文，所以我会说中文。Now let's see this. 我因为学了三年中文。而被这家公司聘用了。The first sentence, 因为我学了三年中文，所以我会说中文。A perfect reason and result relationship, and we want to emphasize the relationship. The second sentence, 我因为学了三年中文而被这家公司聘用了。The reason and result relationship is not the emphasis here. Instead, we want to stress the result, but we also just mentioned the reason that brings us to the result. Let's see another example here. 我因为工作而认识了他 I met him because of work. What I want to stress is the result. I met him. And I just mentioned, oh, it's because of work. Let me give you some more examples, and I want you to fill the sentence. 人因为爱而伟大。他因为高血压而开始运动。他因为个人原因而选择了辞职。Okay, now you got two options. Option one: Memorize the four structures of "are" and their translations to quickly remember how to use "are." Option two: Immerse yourself in the feeling of "are" to truly understand it. Or the best solution: You can do both. And I also want to state that it is not like "so yi," "dan shi," "he," and "are." Cannot be interchangeable. Actually, 所以但是和 are very generally used. So in many cases, R can be replaced by 所以 or 但是 or 和 but not the other way around. Don't worry. You don't need to make sentences with R right now. Just listen more and feel more. And eventually, the perfect sentence will come out naturally when you get the intuition of the language. This all about today's video. I hope you like it. 
I'm Shuo from Shuo Shuo Chinese. Shuo Shuo Chinese. I will see you in my next video. 再见。